So you may want to build a custom bike frame, but you don't have a jig. I made this Chopper e-bike from scrap metal using just some basic tools. So let's check out how to design and build a frame like this. I hope this will give you new ideas and maybe inspire you to build a cool chopper of your own. I started this project by thinking how I could weld a bike frame without a jig to keep all of the pieces in fixed position. And I figured out that using original parts from an old frame that are already connected together will actually help me a lot with that because they have connections with good geometry already. Using these original parts will make it possible to connect together all the rest of the tubes and keep the geometry right. Here we have the head tube and the down tube already connected together. That will help a lot with making the front of this frame and here we have the whole rear end already assembled in perfect geometry to have that in one piece you need to find a frame that has these links between stay tubes so now it's just a matter of connecting both ends with some tubing for many years i was dreaming about making a cool stretched and low bike frame for a chopper e-bike project I started designing and putting this frame together by chopping off a rear end from an old frame. Then I just rotated that part to make it closer to the ground, thus making the whole frame lower. And I took a couple of bricks and used them to determine the ground clearance. Then I positioned the bottom tube on those bricks to get the angle I needed for that connection and tack welded that tube in place. To keep the geometry straight, I just used some string like that and eyeballed the alignment before making a couple of more tack welds. Next, I tack welded the top tube. To know at what angle it should be, well again, I just eyeballed it. First I made it go higher than the position of a regular 26 inch front end. I just placed a front end with a wheel next to this structure at an angle I liked. And again, used some string to keep the geometry straight. Next I made a cut at a suitable height and bent the top tube to connect the end of it to the head tube. Then I just looked at where I need to cut the ends of the top tube and the down tube. I made all of the tube notches with a grinder and a hand file. And it's okay, they don't have to be perfect. And then it was just a matter of tack welding the front of this frame to the rest of the structure. At this point, to keep the geometry straight, I had to do a lot of eyeballing the alignment of the front and the rear wheels. So for that, I made a straight line on my floor with some string, took the tires off those rims and adjusted the tack welds all around the frame until the whole bike was straight enough to stand on the ground by itself. It was a hassle, but it worked great. Next, it was time to make this structure strong and solid. To reinforce the rear end, I welded a seat tube to create this triangle structure. And also I added this tube that helps to support the front part of this frame. And after that, I tack welded some pieces of sheet metal to make this fragile connection stronger. Now, the base structure was ready for the final welding. And then it was time to connect the seat bracket, the bottom bracket, and other small things like mounting points for a brake caliper. I have videos on those in the description. Check those out and please subscribe to my channel. Now, here are a couple of things you should know about welding a bike frame. These welds look terrible and I'm not a shitty welder. I do use a shitty MIG with flux core wire, yes, but that's just half of the challenge. To keep the structure while welding, I decided to minimize the warping of the metal that happens because of the heat. That means making the final welds by tack welding. So first, you tack the parts together and adjust them. Then you do a million tacks as the final welding all around the frame. Moving from one side to another so you would apply the least amount of heat on the same areas. The result looks kind of terrible, but it's totally solid and the frame will stay straight after welding. Now you just have to drill some holes in the tubes before welding shut the both ends of a tube. This way the pressure that builds up from the heat has a way to escape while you weld. This is very important. Also later it helps to stop your frame rusting from inside out because of condensation. Now because this frame has a much different geometry from a regular bike and because it's custom made you're gonna need to attach some cable stops for brakes, speeds and whatnot. For that I used M6 cap nuts. First I removed the threads and then slashed one side open with an angle grinder. This is a really cheap and effective way of making cable stops. Although challenging to weld with a flux core wire MIG because of the small material thicknesses. Next, 
you may want to have a kickstand on your custom frame. I figured that the most effective way would be to take an old aluminum kickstand assembly and attach that permanently to the frame. So I took a piece of tubing and shaped that to mimic the original housing for the spring mechanism. I welded that piece in place and it works great. And that's all about the frame. Subscribe to my channel to see my next video about this chopper rebuy. Check out other videos about this project in the description. Ask me in the comments if you have any questions, I will be glad to help you. Please like this video. Thanks for watching.